In the morning of July the 9th, the fifth day, Wolverhampton and the flower of Gloucester was still lost. Birmingham and the Gas Street Basin seemed as far away as ever. Right, can you hold the tiller for me? Oh. Keep it that way at the moment. Yeah. All right, push, Mike. <laughs> We're fighting the wind as well. Yes, we're up against the east bank, I think. Is there anything I can do? No, I think we're just It'll about move pulling a bit it. now. I suppose it's ground now, is it? Possibly. Yes, it is. We'll have to move the stern out. Yeah. Oh, I'll give it a push. I'll hold it. That's very kind of you, thanks. We just had to reverse all the way down that cut there, about three locks up we were. Where are you trying to get to? We're trying to get to the uh, Gas Street Basin. Oh, you have taken the wrong way. It's down there. I thought it was. <laughs> oh, we'll be able to go forward now, I think. Yes. If I can get on the boat. What are you doing here? Well, I'm taking some pictures of the industrial complex around here. Yeah? To uh, preserve it. Uh, the, the photographic records, you know. I'm an industrial archaeologist. Well, it seems to be all right now, doesn't it? I think I'll make it now. You think you can manage all right? Yeah, should be okay. Well, if you're not sure of the way, I'm doing some field work down the canal so far. I'm going down towards Gas Street, and uh, I'll be glad to show you the way if you give me a lift. Yeah, well, we'd like to. You're very welcome. You know, gratitude for all the help you've given me. <laughs> Pleasure. All right. Would you like to bring your stuff on board? Right. Lizzie, you wouldn't like to take over this thing, would you? Okay. Thanks a lot. I'll go and make that man some coffee. Back on the route, a hundred miles of the journey done, and just about halfway to London. But the worst was still to come, so Dick was keen to get through Birmingham as fast as possible. That's the main line from Birmingham. To um, London? To, no, to the north. Um, is there a lot of building and stuff? A concentration of industry, yes, yes. yes. In fact, the whole of the canal from Wolverhampton to Birmingham, you'll notice on both sides, is industrial. And that is the reason for the building of the canal and conversely for the industry being there because these were the first smooth roads to be uh, used in the country yeah. uh, because transport by road was impossible before the coming of the canal in any great quantity, say to haul coal and heavy minerals like that. It was a very difficult business in winter, almost impossible. Yeah. With the coming of the canals, it was uh, possible to then build factories close to the road so that the raw materials could be brought in, processed and taken out again fairly quickly. Yeah. And this is the reason for it. There's another canal up there. Where's it? Oh, how come there are so many canals in Birmingham? Well, it's really like a sort of little Venice. Yeah. <laughs> because um, the canals uh, largely originated here, the Midland canals anyway, and uh, they grew to serve the needs of a growing town that was using more and more coal in the first place, and then they grew to carry all sorts of stuff. Other, other minerals, um, and timber, and all in incoming goods, merely because the roads were not good enough to carry them. Um, how many people would 
travel by canal in, in, or use the canal in any way in those days when it well, first started? Well, I, I don't think that uh, there was a great deal of passenger traffic by canal ever. Uh, there were some, certainly in the first place, particularly using flyboats, you know, which used to run as fast as possible with fresh horses every ten miles or so. But uh, I don't think that passenger traffic was ever the main thing. People used to get along by horseback and coach until the coming of the railways, just the same as they had before. But as regards goods, it jumped from, uh, well, just a few tons in the first few months to thousands of tons a year of every kind of merchandise carried on these things. Are we in Birmingham now? We're very nearly in the middle of Birmingham. That's Gas Street Basin just down there. We're just going under Broad Street. Is it very near the centre of Birmingham, the town centre? Uh, yes, it's quite close. If you're in Birmingham, you don't really know that... I mean, I can't see that many people will know that there's a canal here even. No, the network of canals is almost invisible from the street. Yes. In the same way, while we're down here, we hardly know that Birmingham, Birmingham's going on around us. Bye-bye. Nice and yes. Bye-bye. I suppose a bit of go about organising some shopping now. Have you got any idea what we're... Well, I know what we need. Have you got any money on you? Nothing to go back on the boat for? Got some, yeah. Well, let, which way? We'll go down here. Well, what about Liz? Oh, is she coming with us? Yeah. Hey! Don't forget, go easy on the money. We haven't got much left, OK? Right, right. I've just spent the shillings. Go to one and six. Yeah, make sure you do. Ten yards. 
at 15 and 11 a yard. If that was 10 yards at 16, Bob, 160 shillings, you've got eight pound in value. Come on, let's call a spade a spade. Get hands on that. You want gorgeous colours. Having lost the others, Mike thought the best thing to do was to get back to the boat as fast as possible. In the quiet backwater of Gas Street Basin, less than a mile away from where Liz and Anne were wasting time and money, there was nothing for Dick to do but wait. Then, as he wandered around, watching the men at work on the fleet of narrowboats, he suddenly got an idea. as well. Yeah, and it could be off the dock by about six. Right, thank you. Right, cheerio. Cheerio. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, um, are you in charge of the boats and things around here? The working boats, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, the thing is that I've got this narrow boat, the Flower of Gloucester, which we're driving through onto London, and we mm. come up from Trevor, mm. and, um, well, I've seen that you've got some men working on your boats there, mm. and, uh, well, we're short of a bit of cash and I wondered if uh, I could have a job or something for the afternoon and earn myself a few bob. Beautiful. It'll put value on the house. Darling, darling, put this down that. If you can use it. There you are. Ten yards. Perfect. Eight pound in value. Here's the price. Eight. Tell me, how much experience have you had? Well, uh, you know, I work in my father's boatyard at Trevor. And as far as boating is concerned, I've driven the flower of Gloucester up here. 7.15. Seven ten. Seven guineas. What size engine have you got, just for an interest? Well, why do you want to know that? Well, it's just a general interest to me, because we might have a job that would suit you. Oh, well, it's a 12 horse engine. Yes, I should just about do it, I think. Six fifteen. Six ten. Six guineas. We have a boat over here called the Barbara, which we want taking to Braunston. It's leaking and it wants some work done on it. Oh, see. Um, you want to tow it? You want somebody to tow it down? Mm. Yes, if you could do it. Yeah, I'll do that. Yes, love. And if I charge you six pound on the short price, I've saved you two. Is that right, darling? Thank you. I think it would probably be better if we had one of our own boatmen to help you. Yeah. Um, he could steer the boat, and then you could concentrate on towing. Yeah. Five fifteen. Five ten. Five guineas. Could you get it there by tomorrow night? You set off this afternoon. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, we'll set up. I'm just waiting for my sister and brother and, and a friend to come back, and then we can set up. You can forget your five pound, and at five pound I've saved you money, quickly. Yours are mine, and I'll knock a bit off. I said a fiver. Would three pounds be all right for you? It's not very much, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, OK, well, I'll do it for three quid. I'll take three ten, the lot, and the lady over there. And the lady. She's come on a half day trip all the way from Wales, Bill. <laughs> they come from all over, you'd be amazed. A lady over there's coming on a half day trip from Ireland, the whole country. <laughs> lady over there coming on a bike from Bilston. <laughs> West Indian here comes a long way in the Midland Red Bulls. You can't you not four shillings, not three and six. If you're a regular customer, forget what you've been paying in the past for these, ladies and gentlemen. Because the price today, one silly, no. one crazy, ridiculous price, just one price. Two bob the pound, 
What do you think you're doing? Listen, you lost. No, I'm off the flower. I've lost it. You what? The flower. I've lost it. It's a boat. We're taking it down to London. What are you doing here then? Taking a walk. Come on, son. But where are we going? Hello, Charlie. Hello, Dick. What are you doing here? It's been a long time since I've seen you. Yeah, ages. How are you? I'm here too. Hey, was you in charge of this boat? Yes. What was happened to your other one? Well, I've left it. Uh, I've left it tied up for a bit because uh, the fellow come and asked me to take this. Ah. To be, to be repaired. Yeah. What's the matter with it? Got a leak in the bottom. Ah. Well, the thing is, I'm going to tow you down to Bromston. They're not going to trust you to tow me down there, yeah. are they? Yeah. Well, well I'm not that bad, Charlie. Come off it. Oh dear. <laughs> No, yeah. the thing was, I, we were running short of money and I came in here and asked the boss in there, I said, anything we can do? You know, I wanted to save a couple of quid. And he said, yeah, tell this uh, Barbara down to Braunston. Gonna pay me three quid for that. You're lucky. Yeah. What I could do with it, though? Why? Well, running short. We've been running short these last few days. Made a couple of mistakes. We smashed into a bo boat a while back. Oh, but what I'd like to know, we have been spending the money. On um, other people's repairs, actually. Yeah. 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 Yeah, how come you passed us? Well, it was about four o'clock in the morning about a week ago. You saw us, did you? I saw the boat, but I didn't see you. He was in bed asleep. <laughs> four o'clock in the morning, we would have been, yeah? Yeah. Great. Listen, I don't know where the others have got to. They went shopping a long time ago. I don't know where they are now. But do you want to come across and have a job before we... And then you can show me how to tie her on? Yes. OK? OK. After you. Dick's hopes for a quick get out of Birmingham were disappearing fast. Mike was in the hands of the police and Annette was doing some rescue work on a bus to Smethwick. morning. Is this lad one of yours? No. No. Well, he says he's from a boat, but I thought he might have run away from here. What's the name of the boat? The Flower of Gloucester. We're taking it down to London. Well, where is your dad? I'm going down with my big sister and brother. Well, if you take him in, I think I'd better make a few more inquiries. Yes, I'll get him a bath and a meal. Yes, I'll come back to you. Bye-bye. The first thing you need is the bath. What for? Been. been getting all the stuff. And what took you so long? I've been getting burgers from the market. Oh. 
How do you like Barbara? Who's she? Our new butty boat. What's it for? Turn her to Bronston. What for? I'll make some money. How much? Three quid. I'll ask her because we've been spending quite a bit. Oh, have you? Yeah, look, I've got some real bargains. Oh, good. Look, it's cut material. It was used to make pounds to three pounds ten. Cut? Three pounds ten for cut material? Yeah, I mean, it was a real bargain, wasn't it? But, I mean, we don't need any cut material. What do we... Three pounds ten? Well, it's just right down from eight pounds. Well, I don't care. But that's three pounds ten on something we don't even want. Yeah, but it was a nice in the glossy. I don't... Well, what else have you got? I've got, I've got some sweets. These sweets? Ones, I've got three pounds of sweets. Three pounds worth of sweets? Yeah. They were six bob. You must be start raving mad, you must. What, 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 well, where's the groceries? Oh, I've got some grapes. Grapes? Mm. Yeah, look. Now, wh where's the groceries? You grapes, know, the bacon, grapes, the eggs, the butter. The... Grapes are groceries. Your name Doherty? Yeah, why? You've got a brother called Michael Doherty. Yeah, why? Just making a few inquiries. Hey, is he all right? Oh, yes, he's all right. But I just want to make sure he belongs here. back on the boats. They're uh, on holiday. They've gone back to the parents. Hey Dick! Mike is back! You great hairy twit. What do you mean getting yourself locked up like that? It's not my fault. I was taken away. Hey look, what's we got in there? Vegetables, the uh, mates and gave them to Hey, you. look! Oh, well, that's something at least. Uh, spuds. Well, but... you be more careful next time. Yeah. Thanks very much indeed. Welcoming party. Where on earth do you think you've been? You were supposed to have only gone away half an hour. You've been four hours at least. What? what well, we've got a job to do. Look, come on, all of you. What's the matter with him? I don't know, he's in the hut. I don't know what about, though. He's just... Better go down. Next week, episode 9, Life and Death.